So, our topic for tonight, and welcome up pala sa ating mga students, uh, especially sa mga freshmen. Hindi mo na kayo ay mag-enjoy sa inyong sign ngayon at hindi kayo ma-trauma sa inyong unang taon. So, RCM is a part of a, isa sa mga objective yun ng RCM is to find support kung kailangan nyo, kung may kinapag, kung meron kayong concern. So, narito yung ilang sa ating mga student volunteers can be different. So, for our topic, using AI for productivity, disclaimer lang, hindi ako related ang ating backgrounds natin to computer-related course on my civil engineering, but I am a user of AI. So, ever since ito ay naging available na lately. So, tumatang siguro natin what is AI. Um, AI, simply put, is uh, the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence. So, simply, pag sinabing artificial intelligence is when computers or machines are made to think and learn like humans. So, it's like giving uh, them a brain to help them make decisions. And they are uh, are able to solve problems and do tasks that typically require human intelligence. So, ito lang ang kong exchanges to the AI. So, pati yung isasabi, parang uh, is this something to be feared? Kasi yung uh, machine, pili natin ang patay pag hindi ito think, hindi kaya dumating yung panahon at they will uh, try to uh, overcome yung mga uh, tangawan or like yung mga uh, nakapagpapalan natin sa movies. But if we are going to understand yung process of what AI is, actually it's just, um, you're just feeding data. You're just feeding a computer uh, of uh, data. So, the more the more the more the data, mas marami siya makaprocess. And from that, he will be able to come up with a uh, data processing. He will be able to come up with a program decision. So, he is just operating doon sa kanyang uh, given set of tawag na is training data. So, uh, so that uh, once he encountered the uh, a data that is outside of that training data, meron siyang mag-adjust. Meron probability na yun ay yung bagay rin. For example, if you're going to teach a computer how to identify isang pusa, so how do you do that? Binom siya maraming pictures sa pusa. So, if he becomes familiar with that, then pag nakakita siya ng, if you give me a picture of a cat na hindi pa niya nakakita, so since kanina siya sa pictures sa pusa, It's like yung galing yung brain development ng tao. Dapat ang computer will be able to assess na ito ay isang picture ng isang picture. Actually, we have been using AI for some matagal na rin. Present yun sa mga navigation systems natin, like sa Google Maps, sa Waze, yung mga voice assistants like kay Google and Siri, yung mga recommendation systems nyo sa Lazada, sa Netflix. So, yun. That uses AI, even yung mga image recognition, face ID, photo tagging, and chatbots and virtual assistants. So, but there's a, this technology, AI technology has been around for a long time. Ang tao sa kanila ay traditional AI. So, saan na tayo lumang sa kanila? But something happened last year na naging significant. So, last year, um, 2022 was the year when generative AI triggered an aha moment. So, generative AI. So, kanina, uh, yung tawag natin sa mga uh, uh, na-identify natin ng mga AI like yung mga, uh, so, mga navigation system, mga voice assistants, these are traditional AI. But 
Meron na tayong kinatawag ngayon ng generative AI. So, start sa last year na i-launch, 2022. So, ang main difference nilang dalawa, the main difference between traditional like AI and generative AI lies in their capabilities and application. Pag sinabi natin traditional AI, these are used to analyze data and make prediction. So, for example, yung isang um, um, AI that plays chess. Uh, may kailangan kang robot na AI sa chess. Um, ang ginagawa doon, to train that is, hindi ko sa um, tuturo ko siya how to play the chess. He goes and bagay niya, if pieces. And then, hindi ko siya ng maraming game para yung best na solution yung mahanapin niya. But, um, yung uh, yung analysis niya is based lang doon sa nature na yun. When it comes to uh, generative AI, uh, sabi dito, generative AI goes a step further by creating new data similar to its training data. So, ang difference naman ito, um, for example, um, yung isang kaibigan mo na once upon a time, yung nag-galaxy far, far away. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, continue yung story. Uh, yung generative AI, kaya niyang continue yung story na yun with its plot and twist and to bring that into a good and a continuous story. So, that's using something na original. Hindi ka tulad ng traditional, they just operate on their environment. But with generative AI, they are able to produce um, um, something new from a piece of information na binibigay natin. Now, given the potential and power of generative AI in producing original content, um, especially nung launch ng chat GPT, it's not surprising that some individuals is siguro yung mga students then um, they were tempted to dismiss it as if they stumbled upon a magical source of uh, wisdom. So, baga, uy, there's a, an AI tool that can help me generate, especially yung mga assignment ko. May assignment ka, may mag-produce ng essay, so, sabihin mo lang sa, sa may chat GPT na if it's not mo ka ng 500 word essay on this topic, and then i-out na niya. So parang nasarap na ng buhay ng sudyante. But, a practice is using AI. So, just like any tool. So, ang ating approach with AI, this should be a tool. And it's not just about uh, what it can do, but how we choose to use it. If we're going to misuse yung tool na yun, then um, tayo din ay hindi makikinabok on that. We will not grow in our... Uh, Knowledge and then um, we are not fully utilizing the capability ng ating uh, uh, tool. Okay. So, here are some nakita ko lang din na guidelines for students on how we are to responsibly use uh, AI technology. So, first, sabi dyan, let's be aware of the potential risks of using AI, such as plagiarism and data privacy. So, kaya sabihin natin ng AI generated dyan and it's uh, medyo technical pa yung when it comes to plagiarism. But uh, if we're going to use 100% o kaya halos puro AI generated yung inyong output, then it's technically plagiarism kasi yung pinagkuhanan ng AI na yun is just from a source of uh, training data set. So, let's be aware of that. So, may I learn of AI, pwede tayo maging tamag na lang and then let AI do the work. So that's not how we are to use it. So when students use AI to generate content, there's a thin line between original work and plagiarism. So it's essential for students to recognize when they are following uh, AI generated insights versus producing their own. Wait, I'm going to do that.
So it should not replace uh, you as uh, in, in, in your words. So hindi mo pwede pagmamak na lang sa kanya lahat. So students should use AI tools to enhance their understanding of a subject and should not rely on them to do the work for them. Um, okay. So next is to be transparent about the use of AI tools in alignment with the university and course policies for academic integrity. So I don't know if there may be a doubt about the university with regards to use of AI, but it should be uh, in the loop to my laptop. Uh, definitely soon, they will come out with uh, guidelines on how to properly use AI for it. And then last is to ensure that AI programs are fair and free of bias. So if we are going to use AI programs that are biased towards a specific race or a specific uh, group, then you should be mindful of those things because it will help you its bias in its uh, results. So knowing this um, um, responsible use of AI, um, siguro yung next na topic natin is how, how what are the examples na yung mga AI productivity tools that we can use, uh, especially sa inyo, in your uh, study, in your student life. So, this is a sample lang, ano, that these are, uh, inasong ko na ng free, yung mga AI ang kinuhamang lang dito, sinamalas ko na lang, yung mga free na productivity AI tools since you are still a student. So, Mostly of these AI tools, they are a uh, paid service. Dahil they are, ang sabi na, energy intensive sa pag-produce. So may iba't ibang kategory dito. Uh, hindi naman natin sa isa-isa yung lahat. But I'll just show some demo kung ano ba yung uh, mga some of these uh, AI uh, tools. So, okay. 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 So, unang-una sa chatbot, sa chatbot, so meron tayong, uh, na, na, nakagamit na ba kayo chat GPT? So, saan yung siyang ginagamit? Hindi pa rin nakagamit. Hindi ko pa nakagamit. Uh, so, si, uh, so, si chat GPT yung open AI, si Google, nabilis na siya, na rin siya ng uh, chatbot niya, si Bard. And then, there are other um, uh, AI tools na uh, mamaya ang iba dyan, titignan natin. You know? But, ang pinaka, kung baga, sikat, when it comes to AI, is the uh, chat GPT. So, so I'm going to share with you some uh, video. Uh, this video is about kung hindi na lang yung background. So, bilis na naman topic. Uh, para lang tayo yung idea, what is chat GPT and how it works. ChatGPT was released on November 30th, 2022. It reached 100 million monthly active users in just two months. It took Instagram two and a half years to reach the same milestone. This is the fastest growing app in history. Now, how does ChatGPT work? The heart of ChatGPT is an LLM, or a large language model. The default LLM for ChatGPT is GPT 3.5. ChatGPT could also use the latest GPT-4 model, but there is not much technical details on GPT-4 yet for us to talk about. Now, what is large language model? Now, a large language model is a type of neural network-based model that is trained on massive amounts of text data to understand and generate human languages. Now, the model uses the training data to learn the statistical patterns and relationships between words in the language, and then utilizes this knowledge to predict the subsequent words, one word at a time. Now, an LLM is often characterized by its size and the number of parameters it contains. 
The largest model of GPT 3.5 has 175 billion parameters spread across 96 layers in a neural network, making it one of the largest deep learning models ever created. Now, GPT 3.5 was trained on a large chunk of internet data. The source data contains 500 billion tokens. Looking at it another way, the model was trained on hundreds of billions of words. ChatGPT was released on November 30, 2022. It reached hundreds of billions of words. ChatGPT daw sabi na this is a fast growing AI dahil sa kanya pati na tayo. And yung training na is training materials na is sobrang dami. So kaya hindi yung pretty stable to output one conversational material. So, para ka nakikipag-usap um, sa isang uh, person. So, yun yung intention niya. So, you can uh, communicate like a regular person. It can pick up yung uh, conversational materials and it's straight for that. Kaya naman, it is able to understand kung ano yung gusto mo sabihin sa kanya. Um, alam mo, So here are a few examples how chat GPT can help you uh, in your study. For example, it can help you write and debug. So ato manager ni masabi ko kaya na hindi ako programmer, hindi ako computer science, uh, but with the help of chat GPT, uh, I was able to write, uh, I was able to use Python in one of my projects. So that's uh, something, kasi wala mo na kayo hindi ako use Python, but with the help of chat GPT, uh, it was able to uh, assist me in every step of the way and explain every line of code na ginagamit. That is like having a junior programmer na kasama mo sa uh, while you are working. Okay, so, paano explain ang code na to? Bakit galito yung ganyan? May surprise doon para mahihiyala ang itanong sa ating uh, kaibigan kasi makulit tayo. But with chat GPD, you can ask those kinds of questions and then it will give you uh, and it will explain to you what that is. Um, second, uh, yan, isa pa, is in Excel. In Excel yung paggamit ng Excel. So, it's very powerful software. Yung nga lang yung isang ginagumpulin na utilize because hindi natin alam muna yung mga formula. Yung isang komplikado yung kanyang uh, paano ba kuhanin yung uh, maximum value. For example, given a set of data na sobrang dami. And siguro ang gagawin mo, you go to the internet, you search, and you read through several articles. But with chat GPT, interest mo na sa kanya. Uh, ask mo siya, ha, paano ba kunin yung maximum value yung given set of data? And bibigyan na sa iyo kung ano yung um, formula for that, ito paste mo na lang sa iyo Excel sheet. So that's uh, very, very convenient. So next, in math, math and science support, if there's something na nahihirapan kayo uh, and it's, you want to understand more, pwede niyo talagang yung step nito. Let me explain it to you like you are for example, uh, elementary. So, how do you teach, for example, nuclear physics? So, treat me like an elementary student. So, you approach that kind of level. Or if you want to study, for example, a particular topic, pwede mo siyang hingan ng 
Mas magandang example tayo. Uh, example na lang natin na So, for example, uh, I said, I'm going to get up some of Python. So, bibigyan ka rin nila ng set of uh, outline. So, pwede ka na mag-start sa kanya actually. So, yan. Yeah. So, like that. And if or set formula for uh, determining for uh, for example, uh, figure out the name. So, kung kopya mo na lang siya, paste mo na lang siya dun sa iyong ISOs. So, that's very, um, convenient. <laughs> That will save you a lot of time, uh, I assure you. Uh, also, the um, is language learning and writing assistance. So, it is in a sabi ko kanina. For example, um, may hirapan kayo in how to craft your material. Meron kayong essay submission, kailangan nyo magsulat. Uh, you can ask chat GPT, paano ko ba i-approach to? Um, uh, yeah, balik tayo din na sa... So, outline for essay on so so meron na kayo meron na kayo introduction meron na historical notes so pwede from from uh, from uh, from the point of view of more Um, uh, free lang po ito, 3.5. So, this is free. Free research. Uh, meron pa yung uh, chat community for, pero yung kaila, uh, mas advanced yun. So, ito kasi chat lang eh. So, this is a for, yung, yung paid version. Pwede kang mag-upload ng data mo. Uh, but this is very uh, useful na for you. So, hindi na kayo mabibigitin. Okay. So, yun yung isa sa mga limitation niya mamaya. Uh, so, okay, let me share na lang ba? $20 per month. Yeah, study and research aids. So, yun. Yeah. As I mentioned, kung meron kayong topic na nahihirapan kayo, pwede nyo i-paste sa kanya. Baka may part sa paper sa, uh, na, or sa literature na gusto nyo explain pa ni ChatGPT. So, pwede yun. Now, uh, there are other tools na pwede tayong explore na very uh, that, can, that can increase our productivity as well. So, isa is yung 
um, perplex, perplexity AI. So, si perplexity AI, Ayan. Ayan. So, si perplex, perplexity AI, um, halos similar sa kay chat GPT, but, Ang limitation kasi ni chat GPT, napansin namin, yung data niya kasi is from 2021 lang. So hindi na siya updated sa mga current events. But si Perplexity, uh, updated siya sa lahat. Also, si, si chat GPT, pag inask mo siya ng references, uh, huwag mo siyang huwag susundin because it will lead you to false references. Nag-generate lang siya minsan ng out of nowhere na references. Pag chinek mo yun, hindi mo makikita yun sa, sa database, sa internet. So, ewan kung ba't na ginagawa yun. But with perplexity, yun yung isa sa kaya niyang i-address. For example, meron kang gustong topic na uh, i-sundal. Ano ba? Uh, ito na lang. For example, field trip ideas. Ano? So, ang ginagawa niya, it will, scar, it will scar the internet for valid references and then bibigyan ka na rin niya ng answer on that. Ang, ang maganda dito is verifiable. So, meron kang mga references na pwede mo ang tingnan pa. Right? So, pwede mo i-link kung gusto mo. And pwede ka ka pa, pwede ka mag-follow up. So, something na academic siguro. Uh, start tayo po. Uh, background. Okay, so, Uh, para lang. So, siguro ito na yung course outline. Tapos, um, from here, pwede uh, uh, what is dendrology? So, ito na yung mga reference mo. Uh, pwede mo rin siya ng so, ito rin yung mga so, so, yung isa sa mga advantage na, na ni chat GPT over, uh, advantage ni perplexity over chat GPT. It's up to date and it's reliable sa mga source material kasi even even uh, start out. Okay, uh, give me um, so these are uh, so these are uh, PDF materials. So these are scientific materials. So with their sources. So perplexity. So, isa pa na uh, maganda rin. Uh, uh, free din ito. It's also free. So, si Research Rabbit. Si Research Rabbit. Uh, Sabi niya, reimagine research. Kasi ang ginagawa niya, pwede ka mag-upload sa kanya ng paper or kahit yung title lang or kahit na uh, sorry, abang ko lang. Uh, for example, kung gusto ko lang topic na gusto research, then it will uh, out ano ba wala sa ito. Yeah, uh, then dito sa material and then so since nandyan na siya, so ito siya na. 
Ah, uh, maganda sa kanya. Pwede nga itatag niya lahat ng references na sinight niya and from there, pwede mo lang makita yung connection ng bawat isa. So, for example, ito study na to, how is it connected to the other one? And pwede mo siyang i-check uh, isa-isa. So, nandito na rin siya lahat. So, you're just working on a single uh, browser page. Uh, hindi mo lang kailangan lumayo ay uh, accessible na lahat ng mga uh, materials na related to sa yung topic. Then you can English also. Uh, if you click this one, then it will uh, once again do that tagging. Uh, yeah, up na lahat ng mga, for example, uh, yun yung mga related sa kanya na offer. So, if you're, kung nasa na sa previous part na kayo, this will be useful for you. Uh, isa pa. So, new share. Sana. Okay. Uh, ito, maganda rin ito. Si... Si chat PDF naman, pwede mo siyang... Uh, mag, pwede kang mag-drop ng PDF sa kanya. And then, it will automatically... Uh, summarize that material. So, ito yung prancing niya. Hindi niya lang ina-upload yan, but it's already generating um, some um, outputs para doon sa yung material. Uh, so, actually, bibigyan ka na niya agad ng mga leading questions. So, ito na yung, uh, for example, um, uh, Pwede ka na mag-start dito. So, kung, for example, meron kang sobrang dami habang material, gusto mo lang magkaroon ng overview, so tanungin mo na lang muna siya. Para lang, uh, alam mo na agad, uh, significant ba ito sa gagawin ko? Magagamit mo ba itong material na ito? So, mas madulis. Instead of, uh, yun. Or, ano yung, or meron kang specific topic na gustong i-zoom in, Pwede mo siyang tanungin uh, dyan. Uh, mm -hmm. Hindi na lang muna kaming libat. So, uh, so, ito yun sa mga uh, AI productivity tools on research na pwede niyong magamit as student. So, I'd recommend Super Flexity uh, also si Research Rabbit. Um, next, uh, for multimedia productivity tools. So, um, so ito naman yung pwede nyo magamit if you're into multimedia uh, content. So, si CapCut, familiar kayo? Si TikTok. So, um, <laughs> so ang, ang AI sa kanya na I find it very useful is pwede siyang magawa ng auto-caption. Diba? So, that's very helpful. Hindi nga naman type dati ng isa-isa. So, if, if Pwede mo siyang gawan nung meron na agad siyang caption. For the other one, uh, si Adobe Studio naman ay more on sa sound editing. Tagalata. No? So, So, si Adobe Studio, ang ginagawa naman niya, if, uh, problem, if, if you want to improve your audio, for example, wala, ka namang, uh, wala kang access to a good recording studio, which most of us, wala naman talaga. But if you're going to mouse, pwede mong i-drop lang sa kanya yung, yung MP3, yung voice recording na medyo magulo, may background noise, yung roommate mo na maingay, pwede niya i-remove yung noise na yun. So these are very good. Um, also, si, so that's for audio. Ito maganda. Uh, ayan. 
Yeah, nag-sabi mo. <laughs> I-start lang natin na. Kung naman kayo, kung sa image uh, generation, ay bakit? Kasi so, Adobe, pwede ka ng uh, Pwede siya mag-generate sa'yo ng images na describe mo lang siya. For example, kailangan mo ng students. Diba? Ayan. So, hindi siya common na combination students in ocean. So, hindi siya common na combination. So, si Adobe Firefly, try niya mag-generate something na given yung description So, isa pa, kung kailangan mo, for example, na ito si generative team. So, ito, ito pa yung picture namin sa, so meron kasing photo bomber. So, kung so itong natanggal na to, kaya niya extrapolate based sa given information dun sa photo para i-fill in niya ang yung details niya. So, how good is it? Uh, so, nahihinip na yung mga bata. So, dati sa Photoshop, baka wala. Ayan, makita niyo naman. So, very uh, seamless. So, after that, uh, natin ito. Pagkali natin mga photo ba? So, kaya ba niyang i-fill in na based on this uh, Ready ba? Yeah, so meron pang iba. Sa transcription naman, si Wish for AI. So, explore nyo na lang yan. And then, uh, meron isang, meron na uh, AI to repository. Parang ang website niya is There's an AI for that. So, pwede nyo explore. Ano lahat ng mga uh, AI tools na pwede nyo gamitin. So, those are just some of the examples. Uh, so, ang ano lang siguro last na gusto namin iiwan sa inyo is a reminder. Ang um, sabi sa 1 Corinthians 10.31, uh, so whether you eat or drink, 
for whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So we've seen the capabilities of AI, what it can generate, how it can increase our productivity in doing those things. So we can say that it is a game changer. So how students will study now in the following years, Iba, on how we used to study before the library, Uh, kami doon sa index card. Uh, those things are gone. So, dumadang yung internet. Um, uh, students, siguro a few years before uh, ago, they are using uh, their laptops connected to the internet. Now, we have another tool that can help you also to uh, be more productive sa inyong mga gawain. So, this can be a tool to save you in your time and effort so you can devote more of your time to other works as well. So, But as we step forward to embrace these technological wonders, let's not lose sight of a deeper and more profound truth. Uh, every good as I began, so whether you eat or drink, do, do it all for the glory of God. So not to use it for this honest gain, not for personal uh, benefit, not for the sake na makapag-submit lang kayo, and then... Uh, kahit na sabihin nyo, hindi naman malalaman ng teacher ko yan kasi old school yun, hindi nag-check ng, uh, ng plagiarism. So may mga AI detectors kasi. So makakalusot na to. So those are for this honesty, not using the uh, technology wisely. And then to recognize that every good gift, or every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of Lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. So these gifts, uh, As much as we would like to admire the mga brains of people na gumawa nito, but ultimately they are they're very good. But ultimately, uh, this technology are given by God because He is the one. He is the source of wisdom. So hopefully, may na kung kayo in our little discussion for tonight. And so, thank you for this much. So, and for those on um so um join us online, you may send your questions. For those online, you may um you may send your questions to the Zoom chat, or you may also um. Send a private message to Mother Joseph Medalla or to our Zoom host. Um, for those on Facebook Live, you may comment your questions on the comment section or. Hello. Ayun. Kailangan lang ko magsobrang kuha. So, if, if may questions po kayo from our, uh, sa ating face-to-face, saka sa online, pwede ko po may provide yung mga uh, resources sa ito. With regards to policy, uh, it's a common practice na uh, once uh, may uh, uh, dito. Pero mas pinatawag na repository of tools. So there are uh, parang programmers can think programmers. So for example, this uh, uh, code can do this kind of task. So in a upload nila yun so that others can uh, improve for that. Sa akin, wala akong uh, problema if If uh, as Thomas na-intipihan yung person, yung, yung code na ginagamit niya. 
Ang um, ako kasi, um, yung code na, for example, yung ginawa ko sa program, hindi ko kaya yung from scratch. Um, but I know how to uh, outline kung paano ko execute yung aking gusto gawin. Kasi yung aking uh, research, um, I want to predict the property of this material. So, kailangan ko lang higit ko yung uh, properties niya. And then, kung sa tatay ba ba ng mga tao na nila training data, tapos, once nagawa ko na yung uh, model niya, uh, sipit ko naman siya ng uh, testing data. So, alam ko kami, alam ko lang i-pro i- or uh, yung flow chart na. But to write that, I need a system. So, either uh, with the help of an uh, a programmer, um, but that doesn't mean na uh, wala akong info for what you for purely or purely si chat GPT yung nag-produce uh, mo. Uh, because I'm just prompting it to output that material. So with regards to the same question, depending on the situation siguro, but as long as I'm going to ask, 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 whether it's directly lifted from chat GPT. Because when you can have a chat GPT, usually uh, the code is very efficient already. Siguro kaya ano ko question is because it's very clean. Uh, kapag ka kasi tao, pwede makalap talaga. So, isang di mo masagdan. But, uh, kaya chat GPT, maganda yung pagkakaas, yung structure siya. So, others were going to look into that code, uh, mas kasi siya ganda yung yung code. So, sa akin, as long as the person uh, using that understand, so pwede mo sa it ways, ano yung ginagawa ng line nito, ano yung bakit mo nilagay ko dito. So if they can't answer that, then yun siguro na uh, they can be in hell uh, liable. May question pa po kayo sa pag- Ang advantage ni, for example, kasi for black city, ang advantage ni, kasi kasi nila, uh, ang, ang, ang default natin si Google, di ba? We go to Google to find uh, things uh, uh, about this. Ang ginagawa ni Google is, ginagawa siya lahat ng uh, websites. Sobrang dami kaya ang Google siya, di ba? Na pwede unlimited yung uh, pages na pwede nila niya out. And we have to start them one by one. So, see, for example, si perplexity. Ah, uh, yung summaries na niya agad, bibilang ganun agad din yung uh, uh, introduction na about the topic. And then, pwede ko na siya agad yung mga leading na materials to help you uh, to move forward sa so, yung mga research topic. So, I think it's more beneficial. Yeah, thank you, Kuya Ian, for um, yeah. thank you, Kuya Ian, for uh, your talk tonight. Um, thank you for joining us, Simana, face to face.